Before each run, a new filter strip must be inserted into the ethylometer. Open the black cover at the front panel of the instrument and hold down the filter release button at the bottom of the F while inserting a new filter strip into the slot. The white side of the strip should be facing the top of the ethylometer. Once the strip is securely inserted, place the cover back on. Turn on the ethylometer by pressing down on the power button for 4 seconds until you hear a beep and the red and green lights flash on together. In order to shut down the ethylometer, press and hold down the power button. When you hear and see the first beep and blink, release the button quickly. When you hear and see the next beep and blink, quickly press and hold down the power button. This will go through three cycles until the microethylometer then shuts down. To calibrate your pump, attach a fully charged battery pack to the side of your pump. Break both ends off of your XAD4 tube. Then insert the tube and attach it in series in between your calibrator and your pump, with the arrow pointing inwards towards the pump. On the calibrator, select Measure, then Continuous Measurement to begin measuring airflow. Turn the switch of your pump on. The display on the calibrator should read 1.5 liters per minute. You may use a screwdriver at the back of your air sampling pump to adjust to your desired airflow. This calibration method is specific to the BIOS DryCal Defender 530 and modified methods can be used for alternate calibrators as instructed in their manuals. In order to begin sampling, both ends of the XED4 tube must be broken with the arrow pointing inwards towards the pump. Switch the pump on to begin sampling and switch it off to end it. After sampling has ended, cap both ends of the XAD4 tube. Before sampling, a new pre-weighed Teflon filter must be placed into the PEM 2.5 cut point. Unscrew the cap of the cut point, then remove the outer ring. Use an alcohol wipe to clean the stainless steel screen. After letting the screen dry for a few seconds, use tweezers and insert a new Teflon filter. Place the ring back on, then screw the cap back on. In order to calibrate your pump, select Measure, then Continuous Measurement on the calibrator to begin measuring airflow. Connect tubing directly from the pump to the outlet at top 
and tubing from your PEM cut point to the inlet at the bottom of the calibrator. Leave your calibrator running for 5 to 10 minutes. The display should read 10 liters per minute. In order to adjust to your desired airflow, you can go to the setup option in the legacy pump and use the up and down arrows. Using a flow calibration cap, the PEM can also be connected in series like the X84 tube in between the calibrator and pump. Both calibrations will yield the same results. Press both up and down arrows simultaneously to turn the pump on and again to place on hold. From hold, press the middle button to turn the pump off. Before air monitoring, the glass fiber filter must be replaced. Unscrew the cap on the side of the PDR and remove the filter holder. Remove the old glass fiber filter with tweezers. Clean your filter holder by using an alcohol prep pad. Thoroughly wipe the top and bottom cassette rings as well as both sides of your filter support screen. Place a new glass fiber filter into the filter holder using tweezers. Make sure that the filter holder is tightly sealed on both ends. Then place the holder back into the side of the PDR and screw the cap back on. In order to calibrate your PDR, unscrew the cap of your black total inlet piece. Connect one end of your tubing to the total inlet and then connect the other end to the total outlet of the PDR. From the operate menu, press the enter key and then scroll down to the zero instrument screen. Then press enter to begin zeroing the instrument. If the measurement was successful, the screen will show that zeroing is complete. After zeroing is complete, remove your tubing, then take out the total inlet from the side of the PDR and replace it with the blue cyclone to begin sampling. Make sure that the tubing is secure and unobstructed. Press and hold the on-off key for 4 seconds on the main screen until you hear a beep and the screen turns on. On the operate menu, scroll down to start a run and press enter to begin reading. Press escape to stop a run and then press enter to terminate the reading. In order to start your CO data logger, first remove the cap, then insert the monitor into the USB port of your computer. Use the logger software to set up the instrument. It can be configured by logging time and with a delayed start to continuously measure CO levels. 
A green light will flash every 10 seconds to indicate that it is currently logging. In order to turn the monitor off, insert it back into the USB port and select the Stop Monitor icon. Your data will then be uploaded and can be exported onto Excel. Well, that's all, folks. Happy air sampling.